the forecast.ets.confint function returns a confidence interval for a forecast value at a specific point in a timeline. It is designed to be used along with the forecast.ets function to show forecast accuracy. The smaller the interval, the more confidence in the prediction for a specific data point. Here is the syntax. Target date, the data point for which you want to predict a value. Target date can be date or numeric. Values, a range or array of historical data for which you want to predict future values. Timeline, an array of dates or independent numeric data. The dates in the timeline must have a consistent step between them and can't be zero. Meaning the timeline should have a regular intervals, for example, hourly, daily, monthly, quarterly, yearly, etc. Confidence level, a numeric value between zero and less than one, indicating a confidence level for the calculated confidence interval. Default is equal to 0 0.95. Seasonality, a number representing the length of the seasonal pattern. 1 or omitted is default. Excel detects seasonality automatically by using positive whole numbers. 0, no seasonality, that is a linear forecast. Positive whole numbers will indicate to the algorithm to use patterns of this length as the seasonality. Maximum supported seasonality is 8760, which is number of hours in a year. Any seasonality above that number will result in the pound num error. Data completion, an optional argument specifying how the algorithm should handle missing points in the timeline. Although the timeline requires a constant step between data points, forecast.ets.confint supports up to 30% missing data and will automatically adjust for it. The data completion argument can have a value of 0 or 1. 0. Treat missing points as having the value 0. 1 or omitted. Calculate the value for missing points to be the average of the neighboring values. Aggregation, an optional argument specifying how the algorithm should aggregate values that have the same timestamp. Although the timeline requires a constant step between data points, forecast.ets.confint will aggregate multiple points which have the same timestamp. This can be any integer between 1 and 7. 1 or omitted is default value. The average function is used for aggregation. Other options are 2 count, 3 count A, 4 max, 5 median, 6 min, and 7 sum. Typically, forecast.ets.confint function is used in conjunction with the forecast.ets function to calculate the upper and lower confidence intervals for the forecast. Ensure the arguments are consistent, for example, seasonality, aggregation, etc should be the same in both the functions. B2 to B40 has monthly sales from 1-1-2019 to 3-1-2022 and A2 to A40 contains a timeline. Calculate the forecast value for 4-1-2022 using the forecast.ets function. Use this formula. Omit seasonality, data completion and aggregation arguments. Use this formula to calculate the confidence interval for 4-1-2022. A41 is the target date. B2 to B40 are the historical data values. A2 to A40 is the timeline. Use absolute reference for values and timeline. Last four arguments are omitted. Excel uses the defaults. Here are the default values. Confidence level is 95%. Detects seasonality automatically. Complete missing points as the average of the neighboring points. Aggregates multiple data values with the same timestamp by using the average function. The formula returns a decimal value. To round it to two decimal places, click on the number format drop down and select number. The confidence interval is 5681.60. The confidence level used was 95%. This means that 95% of the time the prediction for 4-1-2022 is expected to fall within 5681.60 of the forecasted value 33,892.98. That is 
$33,892.98 plus or minus 5681.60. To find out the range within which the forecasted values are likely to fall, you can calculate the confidence interval bounds for each forecasted value. To get the lower confidence interval, subtract the confidence interval from the forecasted value. To get the upper confidence interval, add the confidence interval to the forecasted value. Copy the formulas down. Forecast value, confidence interval, upper and lower confidence intervals are calculated for other dates. Plot the results on a chart to see a clear visual representation of the predicted values and the confidence interval. Use a 2D line chart. Repeat the last sales value in the forecast columns so that the forecast line joins the sales line in the chart. Copy B40 to C40, D40 and E40. Select the data in all the five columns. On the insert tab in the charts group, click on the insert line icon and choose the first chart type 2D line. X values are the dates and Y values are the sales. The existing sales values and forecasted values are plotted. The blue line is the existing data. Other three lines are the forecasted values. Forecast, lower confidence interval and upper confidence interval. Now different types of errors you get with this function. Excel returns the pound num error when the target date is chronologically before the end of the historical timeline. For example, this formula returns an error since the target date 4-1-2021 is less than the smallest date on the timeline. If a constant step can't be identified in the timeline, Excel will return the pound num error. The dates in column G do not have a constant step, so the function returns an error. Excel will return the pound NA error if the ranges of the timeline and values aren't the same size. If the confidence level is outside of the supported range, the formula returns the pound num error. Confidence level should be greater than or equal to 0 and less than 1. 1 returns an pound num error. 0 returns a confidence interval of 0. Typically, it is supplied as a decimal number, for example, 0 0.1. Percentages are also accepted like 50%. As the confidence level increases, the confidence interval increases. To download practice Excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.